How to use Chinese Golden Dragon Symbol for Enhancing Good Luck Ultimate Guide Chinese Golden Dragons are powerful and benevolent dragon symbolism and Chinese culture. Dragon are everywhere in China, some are Chinese dragon with horn and legends, festivals, astrology, art, names, and idioms. A number of legends concerning the origin of the dragon emerged in the course of Chinese history, of which the totem worship theory is more popular than the others. The Chinese dragons claim that eastern dragons are seen as lucky and good, quite different to the evil, dangerous, fire-breathing eastern dragon of most eastern and western stories. What is the Chinese dragon story? In stories, a Chinese dragon can be composed of many different animal parts, but it's more commonly depicted as having, the tail of a fish, the scales of a carp, the neck of a snake, the belly of a clam, the head of a camel, the claws of an eagle, the paws of a tiger, the ears of a cow, the eyes of a demon, the beard of a goat and the horns of a stag. What is the Chinese Golden Dragon meaning? Dragons have been part of Chinese culture from decades from festivals events to astrology to idioms. This is a Chinese myth dragon in that it's said that many years ago, Yandi, leader, was born with a dragon. With the help of the dragon, and allied with Wang Di, a legendary tribal leader, they opened the prelude to Chinese civilization, so Yandi and Wang Di were considered to be ancestors of the Chinese people. How many Chinese Golden Dragon Zodiac Signs are? The Dragon China is the fifth sign in the Chinese Zodiac. Each year is allocated an animal based on the 12-hour cycle. The closest Chinese Dragon's years are 1916, 1928, 1940, 1952, 1964, 1976, 1988, 2000, 2012, and 2024. The dragon is the most beloved animal in Chinese culture. It represents all that is strong and good. Indeed, it is the dream of every Chinese couple to have a child during the year of the dragon. The dragon zodiac eminent personalities sign stands for honor, good luck, power, and success. In traditional Chinese culture, this animal represents the supernatural. The Golden Chinese Dragon is the only imaginary one of the 12 zodiac animals. All the other animals are real, you are likely to encounter them somewhere on the face of the earth. This gives the dragon the unique position amongst its peers. It is clearly the most powerful and vital of the zodiac signs. You need to create a close association with the colors white, gray, silver, and gold. Your wealth, health and career will flow in the west, north, and east direction. What are the Chinese dragon names? Here is a short overview of the Chinese dragon names. Number 1. Skatha Dragon that lived in the Grey Mountains and used to raid the dwarves. Number 2. Draga Childhood friend of Sun Gohan, a friendly little purple dragon baby. Number 3. Viserion China dragon with light to yellowish scales to which Daenerys gave a name inspired by that of her brother Viserys. After being killed by the King of the Night he would go on to become a wraith dragon, becoming more terrible and helping him command his army of undead. Number 4. Rhaegal greenish-scaled dragon that Daenerys gave that name in memory of her brother Rhaegar. During some battles, it becomes the Mount of Jon Snow, in whom he seems to intuit a Targaryen. Number 5. Dragon This Chinese dragon name comes with dark scales and reddish wing, his name was imposed by Daenerys in memory of her husband Drago. Also called the Winged Shadow, it was the eldest and also the most powerful and aggressive of the three, the Mount of the Dragon Queen. 
Number 6. Glorong An ancient creature created by Morgoth for war, although it was called the first worm because it had no wings. It is considered the first dragon given how terrible it was, which is why it is also known as the father of dragons. What are 9 types of Chinese dragons? There are 9 types of Chinese dragons, as the number 9 is sacred and is related to the yang, the white part of the emblem of Taoism, yin and yang. 1. The Dianlong, Celestial Dragon, this is one of the four celestial animals. They protect the celestial palace and carry it. 2. Shenlong, Spiritual Dragon, controls wind, rainfall and clouds. It is blue. 3. Fu Kinglong, Dragon of Hidden Treasures. They live underground protecting precious stones and strange minerals. 4. Dilong, Dragon of the Underworlds, Dragons of the Earth that run rivers or streams. They are said to be the feminine of the Shenlong and can mate with them. They are part of dragons with Entler. 5. Ying Long, Wind Dragon, according to legend was a faithful servant of the Yellow Emperor who became a dragon forever. 6. Jiaong, the name is very ambiguous, it can mean aquatic dragon, mother dragon, snake dragon, aquatic dragon resembling a reptile. It is the most primitive type. 7. Panlong, Coil Dragon, Water Dragon similar to the Jialong. It also controls time. 8. Huanglong, Yellow Dragon, It is said that the Yellow Emperor became this dragon at the end of his life. It is also said that the Yellow Dragon taught writing to the goddess Fushi and that she controls the seasons and time. Its element is Earth. 9. Long Wang, Dragon King, Actually, According to mythology there are only four dragons. They each own the Sea of China and live in glass palaces under the sea. They can also manipulate the weather and cause rain. Which direction should a dragon face for good luck? As a general rule, always place an earth dragon in an open space with good chi flow. Dragons must have freedom and room to fly and move about. Also, if you have a bracelet, be sure your Feng Shui Dragon bracelet is worn in your left hand. Another golden dragon should face toward the room, to bring in the energy of wealth and prosperity, and not looking out through a window or door. Feng Shui Dragon Chino is one of four celestial animals in Feng Shui and is being ranked as one of the most powerful symbol of Yang energy. It often uses as an auspicious symbol in the Feng Shui to symbolize authoritative power, nobility, success, divine protection, wealth, and plentiful opportunities. Why is it bad to have a lot of dragons Feng Shui? Having a lot of dragons means cramping, and when you cramp your home, office, or any space with too many dragons is ill-suited. Thus. It might affect the effectiveness of the positive chi those dragons needs to influence in your homes and offices. How to use Chinese Golden Dragon for Good Feng Shui In Feng Shui, there are many guidelines to adhere to when making friends with dragons. Dragons come in many shapes, sizes, colors and crafted from many different materials. There are many different ways to maximize its power and effectiveness. If you own or purchase a carpet with dragon images, you would be best advised to hang it on a wall. If you lay it on the floor, walking on it will hinder it and perhaps injure it, preventing it from flying freely about. And dragons do fly, so avoid hanging dragon images in your bedroom as they will keep you awake during the night as they frolic about. Dragons are best hung in the living room, den, playroom, and office areas. How many dragons should you have to the left of your computer table? While most think that this dragon can be placed anywhere on the left-hand side of your computer table, this is not actually the case. Two coin dragon or less dragons should be placed on the left of the computer table. And not more. 
Avoid keeping the same in areas that are associated with low energy levels. Make sure that the dragon is not kept at a height that is above your eye level. Cramping the computer table with too many dragons too is ill suited. Try and stick to a maximum of 5 Feng Shui dragons for your workplace in total. Conclusion In conclusion, symbolically Chinese Golden Dragon, as strong abundant life force, represents prosperity. Indeed, the water in which many dragons reside symbolizes money flowing to you, accumulating in pools, bubbling in fountains, flowing in streams and waterfalls. Pictures of water flowing are not as powerful as the real thing but certainly a dynamic substitute. The more dragons you can accommodate the better, but avoid dragon images that feel overwhelming. And never invite only three dragons as they will, like three children when left alone, argue and fight with each other. <laughs>